and it's time to get it on. Right. Look at somebody tell them, whatever you do, yeah, don't lose your anointing. Lose your anointing. So, Jesus says in St. Luke chapter number 4, the Spirit of the Lord. There's one Spirit of God, but it manifests itself in many ways. The one spirit of God is it manifests itself as the glory in the sanctuary, it manifests itself as the anointing on your life, it manifests itself, my brothers and sisters, as the gifts of the spirit that minister to God's people. There's only one spirit. You'll find it in uh, Ephesians chapter number four. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Watch what he says, because... He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. How many understand that you got to know what you've been anointed to do? The problem that we have is that everybody want to walk in somebody else's anointing. You see somebody else walking in the power of God. And folks want to do what they see you do. But if you haven't been anointed to do a thing, look at somebody tell them, leave it alone. Somebody say, well, I want the mic like Bishop Bader. Man, you don't want this mic ever. It's a lot of hell come with this. Y'all don't hit me. It's a lot of lies come with this. It's a lot of attacks from the enemy that comes with this microphone. It's not having any friends hardly that comes with this microphone. It's being all by yourself all the time that comes with this. If you have not been anointed, look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, you ought to Leave it alone. Stay in your lane where God has anointed you. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Watch, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. How many